All right, welcome everybody. Do you find yourself addicted to social media? Or maybe you're not happy about you use social media, even though you wouldn't call yourself addicted. I definitely would put myself in this camp. And uh, today I've been researching this topic a bit, why social media is addictive. This is what we're going to talk about in this video coming up. But first, let me present myself. My name is Nick Redmark. I'm a Swiss coach engineer. What does this mean? I basically apply the mindset of an engineer to personal development and I bring you tools that you can use for personal development every day. But let's look at the question, why is social media addictive? And the answer is, is that it is actually engineered to be addictive. It's not chance. It's not random. It's not that we are just weak and end up using social media too much. It's that these sites are engineered in specific ways to harness or to use our vulnerabilities. And today's talk is, is based on, uh, on an article that I found uh, from 2016 by Tristan Harris. See, I always refer to this guy when it comes to social media and addictiveness because he really knows what's what because he comes from Silicon Valley. Let's actually go through the way social media hijacks our attention. So hijack number one is if you control the menu, you control the choices. The idea here is that um, so a website or a store can give you the illusion of choice, but then by the way the uh, menu or the, the choices you have are presented, it might steer you in a certain direction. So whenever you have a menu of, of choices, you might ask yourself what is not present in the menu. For example, um, if you, if you have a, like a big number of toothpaste uh, on a shelf, that might actually overwhelm you. And then you just pick, I don't know, the most shiny one. Uh, and so you have the illusion of a choice, but actually the, the whole menu was influencing your choice. <clears throat> or um, what if in the morning you open your phone and you have just a long list of notifications. The question, is that the most powerful menu that you could have? Hijack number two is, Put a slot machine in a million pockets. And there the idea is this, this you really have to understand. Um, whenever we do something that is rewarding, we get a little spike of dopamine. And dopamine reinforces our behavior. But the thing about this is that um, the spike after a while shrinks and the reward goes down. So the addictiveness of so something actually decreases. But the spike remains high if the reward is um, unpredictable. If we don't know, it's this like, will, um, will I get the reward or will I not get the reward that makes the reward addic addictive. And so the slot machine is a perfect example of that. But the problem is that um, like Facebook and all these websites that give you notifications work with the same principle. So uh, if you actually post something, uh, Facebook can time when it is displayed to people so that you will not get all notifications at once. So that you will get like a little bit at the beginning, then maybe nothing, then again. And, and so you, you have this addictive effect of the notifications. Hijack number three is uh, the fear of miss, missing something important. I definitely have a problem with that. Why can't you quit social media completely, right? Like this is the reason, like you just have the feeling that you will miss something. And most often, when I kind of take a break from social media, I notice that, that I don't regret having taken a break. But while I consume it every day, I always have the feeling there is something new today, there is something new, and so I have to check it every day. Let's move to the next step. Social approval. We are social animals. We are suckers for sharing something and getting the like, getting the heart, getting uh, the share. And this is another reason why social media is addictive. Hijack number five is social reciprocity. This is another way how social media can make us uh, interact with the websites more. For example, uh, LinkedIn makes it super easy to follow someone um, in a mindless way. Just click follow, follow, follow. And then at the same time, it's asymmetric, right? If you see that someone has followed you, it, you interpret it as interest. Uh, and so you feel the need to reciprocate. Hijack number six is 
bottomless bowels, infinite feeds and autoplay, uh, you have certainly fallen prey to this. There is never a way to stop consuming. Like, for example, on Instagram, you can scroll forever. On Facebook, you can scroll forever. On YouTube, when a video ends, uh, the next are playing. Same thing on Netflix. On YouTube recently, video ha videos have started playing on their own, uh, on the home feed. So all these, all these mechanisms are ways through which social media has become like a black hole sucking you in instead of just a neutral presenter of media. It is another approach, uh, aspect which is the interruption. For example, notifications are the primary offenders here interrupting you. Um, but then also sub more subtle things like um, if you get a message and you see it and then the other per you know that the other person has seen that you saw it, then you feel the need to answer now. So there are all these um, mechanisms to make you feel that you have to react now, that you cannot do it in due time, that you cannot batch uh, all of it. Hijack number eight um, is about bundling your reasons with their reasons. Even when you use YouTube or Facebook, you, you, you go there with a certain aim. And that aim could be reached in a quick way. But that's not their goal. Their goal is to actually make you spend as much time as possible on the platform. Um, it's not about like giving you the quick um, solution to, to your problem. Most people need milk when they go to a shop. And the milk is often at the end of the shop. So you need to cross the whole shop uh, to buy your milk. And obviously you will then look around, buy other things. And that's the idea. And on Facebook, similar or on, on YouTube. As a YouTuber, I know that YouTube promotes videos that people look, watch from start to finish, no matter how long they are. And even better if at the end of the video, you click on another video and you move on, like if you prolong your session. So I, as a creator, have an incentive to not make you leave YouTube as quickly as possible with kind of the solution that you needed. You, you see, so all these systems are working in the background and people don't know it um, or are not completely aware of it. But these are engineered um, systems to make you stay more on their platforms. Last one is inconvenient choices. For example, uh, you, you may think you have the choice to unsubscribe from something, but then maybe um, if you want to unsubscribe, you have to make a phone call or you have to wait for a month and never log in for a month. What All these things that make the thing that you want harder to do and and so again like these are all behavioral methods to lead behavior in a certain direction all right that's it i had a, many more notes about social media addiction and especially you know like what can you do about it and so on but i i guess this is a topic for another day so thank you very much if you have a problem that i cannot address in this generic way uh, you can also apply for one hour of free coaching, link in the description below.